Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Sad... Sadness. Uh, let's do a new run, and on advice from my friends, we're actually gonna go back down to normal. Because apparently, uh, Repentance really scaled, uh, normal mode to be, like, a lot more punishing. And so... Broken... Ooh, balls of steel. Nah, uh, hi. What is... What is it with this... This DLC, or me? And Guppy. I don't know. Well, we got a Guppy's Head item pedestal right off the bat. That's, um, that's something. I'm only gonna leave that. We're gonna have a whole lot of damage. Uh, you know, there's no reason for me not to pick that up. I'm gonna hold on to the Balls of, balls of Steel pill, just because. But still. But yeah, a lot of the uh, unlocks, I guess, are still going to be under hard mode. Okay. That's stuff to consider. Uh, yeah, a lot of unlocks are going to be under hard mode. That's a given. But it's very clear that I am wildly out of practice and the game has been retooled to be a lot harder. Uh, so uh, I was talking to my friends V and Alexa and uh, V was asking more or less the same questions. Because it did okay that last run except for the fact that I didn't count hearts. Um, like I, I could have won. Dark Bomb, really? I mean, admittedly, Dark Bomb, like I said, ain't the end-all be-all that he used to be, but he's still pretty good. If we want to ride high on a lot of spirit hearts and carry us forward, especially if we've already got a, a guppy item, like, that's that's something. Not nothing to do with that. I don't actually know if pressing that button disables the bombs. Or does it matter, I guess. Uh, let's see. But So I'm going to stick on normal mode, at least for a little while. Until I'm used to this again. Uh, and it looks like the unlocks that I really care to go for, namely the new character, and I think the new ending, those are difficulty agnostic. So we can just do them whenever we want. I'm still trying to keep an eye out for these secret rooms, and I'm not seeing much. So... I'm going to go back into the curse room and re-roll the Guppy's head. Because whatever we get from this is going to be generally better than anything we get from the boss room. And I was kind of hoping for another Guppy piece just because gu Guppy? I uh, I feel like trans Transformations, hey, Duke of Fly is my old friend. I have not seen you in quite some time. That said, I've already got a hefty damage up right off the bat, which is, like, incredible. Duke of Flies was one of those that, like, back in the old Flash game version was just a giant nightmare. Dude, dude was rough for me that didn't know how to play, didn't know really patterns or anything like that. And so it's just kind of this awkward DPS race that I just did not appreciate. I got a key. We got the magic eight ball. I don't have a choice. Oh. Temperance. Sure. Uh, let's see. I've got two red hearts. And we got a spirit heart in the shop. I don't think I'm going to be able to pop open the Temperance uh, for a blood bag, but that's okay. I didn't really expect to. At the very least, we're going to grab this and pop the fires. It's a little bit. Piggy Bank might not have been terrible, but yeah, I don't have the I don't have the money, and I don't have a bomb to look for a secret room. Then again, there's two options. So even if even if I were to go looking, I don't think I'd do it. Not in this scenario. Too much ambiguity. Okay. Two, three, four. Yeah. Didn't get what I wanted, but that's okay. We got a decent amount of money, and I should be able to survive on this, especially on normal mode. But yeah, I I, uh, I checked out how to get Jacob and Isao. Because I know they existed, and I knew I wasn't going to exactly figure it out. Drowsy and 48-hour energy. I It's a bit unfortunate to get 48-hour 48, 48 energy in here. Uh, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. But yeah, I, this is not the kind of game that I'm going to just uh, science myself. It'd be rad to learn how to unlock everything, but with... I don't even remember how many items were added with this. 
Oh, we also got the confirmation that this is just anti anti birth, which is part of the reason why I'm having such weird recollections of this. Because I did like a couple runs of anti birth, and then stopped because I want to say after birth plus came out fairly soon after. I think it was it was like within weeks of each other. We got another balls of steel. I I'm gonna pop one. I maybe I should have waited. But bu uh, bucket ghost. Okay. Maybe I should have let him throw all of the buckets just in case any of them had something in it. That said, they seem to mostly exclusively have spiders. And I don't know about you guys, but like, I get really freaked out by spiders. I am not a big fan of them. I'd love to be one of those people that can just like absolute spider buddy. Uh, you know, don't care, but I just, I don't have that luxury. Min Min. Okay. Ah. I'm getting trapped here. It's a bit, bit God damn. Even with my damage up, it's it's mainly this guy's like hell version of Duke of Flies. Okay, new strat. Because, yeah, he's very aggressive at, at summoning new flies. And I'm not sure about fly management. I am eternally grateful I'm playing this on normal mode. I think I'd be quite dead otherwise. Okay. Looks like U-shaped bullet hurting is the way to go on this fight. Okay. Okay, still summons flies. Still summons a lot of flies. Damn. What the hell? This is a, uh... This is a trial. Ooh. Holy shit. Okay. Don't make me have to use my balls of steel here. I, okay, we get this, we get cat of nine. Get in here. I don't even know what the hell this thing does. Duality. You feel very balanced. Huh. Alright. That's a new one. Whatever that does. I. This is why I look things up. Because... Bleh? I mean, I'm assuming it's something to do with damage. But no, it's not. Okay. I think I'm going to pop the other balls of steel. That boss was... That was something new. Now, the thing I'm most afraid of... Oh, wait, no. I'm not afraid of it on this floor. Oh, there's still this guy. He's just hanging. Okay, the thing I'm most afraid of is what comes after this. Blood bombs, bloody blast, HP up, and uh, full red hearts. Useful. Don't think I'm gonna bother with the shop. It's no, no big deal. Okay. And once again, I have no idea if there's a secret room and where it is. And I don't have any bombs, so it's kind of meaningless. All right. Down board two. Let's see how this goes. Messy. That's how it goes. I, what even the hell? I I guess I was going to kind of try and say this in regards to finding out that this game is at least lightly based on Macmillan. I feel like some of these have to be true. Like, actual things that happened to the poor guy. I could be wrong, but it's like, I don't know. I have a wealth of, like, weird things that have happened to me over the course of my life. 
And so whenever I see somebody have stuff like this, I'm just kind of like, all right, what happened to you? That's convenient. And maybe nothing. Maybe that is the answer. Maybe a lot of this stuff is just kind of based on, like, dude had maybe a bit of a rougher childhood, but not, like, this rough. Or maybe he had, like, a legit uh, series of traumas that just followed him through his life into this. Stupid bucket ghost. I gotta get rid of these guys first, though. Ow. All right. Thank you, Dark Bum. Well, it's a good thing to get that out of the way now, as opposed to later. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I got nine lives. What I'm hoping is I get Guppy. Uh, but I'm not going to get Guppy here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Nothing in here. Still no item room. Okay, so we got also got to keep an eye out for the mirror. Very real possibility I'm going to die horribly on this, or Nine Lives is going to save my ass. We will find out. I was really hoping I could somehow possibly get Guppy beforehand. But I don't see that washing out here. Lockdown. Well, that's just... I feel that. Tiny Planet seems like it would be a mistake, so let's go Boiled Baby Messy Friend. I... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe? Because Tiny Planet is, a, is hilariously strong if you get the right items to go with it. Otherwise, it's just kind of a letdown. It still ranks on, like, some of my favorite items. I, I think mainly just because I'm I'm really enamored with items that specifically, uh... Ooh, that's actually really useful. I'm really enamored with items that change how you play. Okay. I can probably swing this, but I could die. Oh, we did, we did find the item room. Do I go shopping? Yes. Okay, red candle. Not a big fan of red candle. EFF. EFF is incredible. Okay, let's grab that. That sucked. Uh, let's see. And we get a fool. Which I think is exactly what I need. Oh. Oh. That's how the mirror works. This is where we need the needed the fool. So I'm not actually sure how the fool operates. At least we got that shot speed up. Okay, there's still somebody left. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to trust any random pills here. Now, item room. Still works. Wait, that's, that's what I'm looking for, ain't it? Knife piece one. Okay, other question is, do I stick around here? I don't think so. And we got stinking lucky here. Because I could stick around on this floor and try and farm a little bit more. I don't think I can get into the curse room as this. We could do the boss. We could do a couple of things. Uh, but that would probably kill me. That was knife piece that we got, yeah? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, that's the knife piece. Just very quickly double check. Okay, first nice knife piece. Head to the item room. 
Okay. Yeah, let's not. I have forgotten much of what is required. Uh, or what is required. What goes into a lost run. And I'm perfectly willing to not force myself to remember these things. Right. Shot speed down. You suck. We do have some bombs. Nope. Oh, this asshole again. I've done a lot of damage to him. Okay, that was quick. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna save that. Okay. So we lose our D6. But we gain Gup. I'm gonna... No, we don't lose our D6. No, we do lose our D6. I forgot I rerolled it. It's fine. I Grand scheme of things, I'm fine with how this rolled, rolled out. I will miss the D6, but I don't need it. And honestly, having Guppy's Paw to get rid of any errant red hearts is not the end of the world. And also Guppy again. How do I keep getting Guppy? That's I, it's three for three at this point. I they must have tuned it up. I I will say I really wish they had. Uh, I really wish they had other transformations in this game. And yes, before you say, but of course, Wanda, there are other transformations. I know. The thing is, they don't show up nearly near. Nearly as much. And they're not nearly as cool. I mean, admittedly, Guppy is just flight plus. Uh, let's see. It's it's just flight plus flies. But you know what? Like that? That works. Oh, homeboy here is in a bad place for me. It's fine. I was going to take damage on that room anyway. Wait, I should not put that fire out. I don't even know what happens. I guess, actually, I have my own light, so it's not so bad. Okay. Okay. Again. Uh, I've already got a bomb upgrade. Go Epiphoria. Intensifying Tears. I think this is the one where if you hit an enemy repeatedly with the same tears, they get better. Maybe? I don't know. It's It's been... It's been some time. And there's like a billion different things that could happen with a name like that. I, uh... Wizard of Legend had kind of a similar setup... We get a health up. No, we don't. Thank you, messy friend. I don't actually know if he amounts to much, but I still like him. Okay, and this is the shop. Uh, did I check any of these? The answer is no. Alright. I'll call this good enough. I wonder if I can actually get run over by that. Um, no, really. I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I don't know where to look. I guess actually there's like one more easy, obvious location. I might as well give it a shot. So we get a paralysis, a... Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. All right. Paralysis. That was kind of a wash, but that's okay. Isaac versus Hornfill. Oh. Oh, this is interesting. I fought this guy before, I think. I fought him. Oh, that's a blood bomb. Okay. 
pretty certain, pretty certain I fought this guy for what little anti-birth I played. Not that I played a whole lot. But I think I, I think I remember him, or at least I've seen him. I don't know. This is weird. This is what I get for playing, like, the most... I almost want to call it, like, the most legacy roguelike ever. I unlocked the Ash Pit. Huh. Okay. Well, I might as well grab both. Blood Oath and Rotten Baby, both of which are pretty good. I got nine lives, so there's not much for me to lose. And a lot for me to gain. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. So down we go. Okay, so mines too. And what am I looking for here? The three yellow buttons. Minecart, new area. Okay. Just making sure I know. I think I'll be okay. The the tip is have flight. Oh, hey, speaking of yellow buttons. I wonder if this segment doesn't show up unless you have the first knife piece. I guess that would make sense. Well, there's one. Yeah, so we just got to find the other two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly it. Okay, we get a paralysis, which is... The height of uselessness. Grab this, don't care about the bomb. Still no tinted rocks. I'm sure they exist. I'm sure I've just missed out on them. Okay, looks like we're good. Oh, BFF was the one that makes, uh... That's the one that makes my friends bigger. For whatever reason, I was misconstruing BFF with the one that makes uh, flies and spiders friends with me. But that's that's like a mix of Scatoli and something else. I'll still take it. Mm. Do I want to roll Forget Me Not? It has some interesting connotations. Because we could restart this floor for something extra. We lose out on Guppy's heart, though. And I'm mixed on whether or not I care about that. Or Guppy's heart. Guppy's paw. Otherwise, I could gamble on the mystery item and hope for the best. Now, nah, let's go Let's go for Forget Me Now. Okay. So, forget, forget Me Now resets the floor. Which means second item room, second boss. No second deal with the devil, I think. Unless deal, deal with devils got changed drastically. Which is very possible. And like I said, it feels like it, they've changed in some kind of substantive manner. Okay. That, you don't have anything fancy. Yeah, curse it, uh, the tower or whatever that one is, not the greatest. Effectively, when I take damage, I explode. Or I drop a ton of bombs. Historically, that has only ever meant that I take a shit ton of damage. Unless, of course, I've got Pyromaniac, at which point it I works really well for me. Okay. Grab that. I don't know, actually know why I came in here. Battery buddy would be lovely. Nope. Sometimes he drops a lot of money. I mean, plus side, I have a ton of keys, so I guess it's not so bad. Alright. Let's give this a shot.
Okay. Oh. Okay. Why am I regular Isaac? Oh. I'm regular Isaac and I don't have anything fancy on me. Okay. Oh, that's how that works. Oh, nope. Okay. They said if you have flying, this gets easier. Apparently, they took away my flying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this one off. Okay, but it's not instant death. So I guess they rebalance this. that alone. Okay, still trying to stay the heck away. Oh. Oh, that's why there's the key. Okay. Grab the key. And we're out. Okay, that was interesting. So now we've got the complete knife. Oh, that's a different knife. Okay. I was really hoping my my whole become uh, become guppy thing would make that easy. I straight up said if you have flight, it's a lot easier. I guess they took that away. Okay. Give him that. I'm a big fan of these kind of free throwaway uh, bombs. Certainly makes my life a little easier. Of course, I'm gonna have to keep my distance. This guy won't stop summoning dudes. Oh, that's what it is. It's these guys. I was staying away from them because I was afraid they were going to be shooting at me. Okay, so we've got Roid Rage. This is a sacrificial door. I think. Gonna double check. Part 3, kill the heart, and then after that, go down. Alright, well that's easy. So I don't even know what this is. Nope. Well, in that case... Reset the floor. We've already got the knife that we're looking for. Uh, I'm seeing red. Oh. Okay. So now we've got... It's like Ipecac crossed with other stuff. Well, I guess I'll grab Guppy's collar. This, this is cool. Like, as, as far as uh, tier changes go, this this one ranks. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't shoot over stuff, though, which is a bit of a letdown. But yeah, what I would love here is probably some tears ups. I asked for it, and it delivered.
Okay, that got him good. I think I knifed him good, too. Ooh, curved horn. I... What a... Absolute... Just... Absolute windfall. Okay, there we go. Life is good. Everything else being what it is. Nope. Nope. Damn it. It's okay. I was not exactly prepped for Bomb to Face. But yeah, I'm, I'm glad we grabbed the Forget Me Not. I Or Forget Me Now. I Honestly, I'm kind of glad that we moved away from the D6, if only be, because, you know, sometimes it's kind of nice for a change of pace, even if the change of pace is still guppy. Okay, anything else in here? Eh, just this shop. I'm pretty happy with what I've got. A Reap Creep. Boy. That, oh. You little turd. Alright, safety pin, evil, everything up. And I'm a... I can't. I can't take that. I'm gonna kill myself for the brimstone, baby. I had, that's still open. It might not remain open. I don't know how much I care for a little brimstone, but seeing as I got BFF... It seems worthwhile to at least give it a shot. So I'm gonna quick give this a a, just, a, a quick little double check rooney See if I get anything fancy. This is paralysis shit. Okay, grab these two. Grab this. Luck is not holding out here. I mean, I could just die. That is an option. Yeah, no tinted, no tinted rocks, no nothing. Uh, I was really hoping I get lucky. Go back in. Uh, get one spirit heart. Go back in. Oh, I mean, this might be something. It's certainly something. I forgot Dark Bomb. Chances are a door's gonna be gone by this point, though. That's the that's the one immediate downside. It'd be nice if it stayed open. If we get really lucky. Nah, it's gone. We could try the sacrificial door, but I bet that's gonna send me down a interesting and completely unique path. Or it's some kind of, like, uh, get into the angel room for free kind of dealio. There's a couple of different ways that it could go, and I have no functional clue. Boy, I'm, I'm actually legit spooky. Let's let Dark Bum do his dastardly deeds. A little weird to call them dastardly deeds, but you know what? Whatever. Yep. You stay away, heathen. I... I accept this. I'm definitely noticing, I think normal mode just has really good drops. But it could be wrong. Okay, so we get a high priestess, we get a 48 hour, hour energy. We get infested. Blow these to kingdom come. Get our 48 hour energy back. Alright, you are not my favorite. But you are also dead. Well, that's easy. And we get ball of tar. Sticky feet. It's... Grand scheme of things, lower on the totem pole. Still not terrible. Okay, do we go shopping? No. And we don't go in here because I'm pretty sure that's... That's mom. 
do I have a 48, 48 hour energy if I don't have a use item? Look, I am too keyed into having a, uh, a D6 here. Hold the door. Oh, that just keeps the doors open so I can leave, I think. I'm going to file that under big no, if only because I don't think I need it. If this run were in dire straits, maybe I'd consider it. But it's not. I'm doing okay. Not even a hint of a tint. Then again, I feel like some of these rock sprites might be new. I never noticed it, but the rocks, rock sprite, the rock sprites in this game are actually really good. There we go. A buy greed. Hey, now I can feasibly justify going into the shop. Oh, it won't let me go into the bus boss rush room. Or not boss rush room, just the boss room. That's okay. I don't need it. Okay. I don't know if I want to bomb a bunch of skulls. I'm doing okay. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'll grab. I'll grab mom's purse. It's lower on the totem pole, but seeing as we've got curved horn, it seems like a yeah. I didn't know mom could kick with both feet at once. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's got to be a new thing or an incredibly rare instance. Or right, I donked it. Okay, got the Polaroid. Should be okay. Oh, gosh. Curse of the Blinds. That's fun. Then again, here, maybe not so bad. Plus, I mean, honestly, considering my absolute dearth of tinted rocks that I'm finding, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. I I guess I just feel like uh, a wealth of tinted rocks blesses a run, and a lack of them curses a run. False PhD, worst pills, evil up. Oh, we get bad trip. I've already got kind of mixed bag pills anyway. I guess the only one that I would want would be the, uh, would be Balls of Steel. But I don't even need Balls of Steel. As long as we got, uh, oh gosh, dark, as long as we got dark, but oh no. Okay, we're fine. Uh, let's see. Hey. It finally happened. Here we get a temperance. Which is kind of virtually meaningless for me. I mean, maybe if I find some red hearts. We did get rid of the, uh, the guppy's paw. Hello, sir. How do you feel about ginormous tears right to the face? Suffice to say, I don't think he liked it. Man, round two. It works. I really want to see this upgrade in conjunction with some other things. It feels really good. Like, I'm a huge fan of any kind of tier upgrade that drastically changes how it behaves. Because I can only imagine that the, uh... That the synergies that that would create. Why did I pick the luck up? Or the, the luck down. Ricano. Uh. Gives me some spiders. Yeah, admittedly, the temperance is not really that useful either. But it's not terrible. Okay, should probably also keep an eye out for secret rooms. How many bombs do I have? I got a number. That was a long shot and a half. Okay. 
Okay. This looks kind of promising. Yep. And it's super greedy. Nope. Took that one. This is the quarter, I think. Well, I don't really have much of a choice. Cherry. And some money. I did pick up the money, right? Yeah. I don't see too much else that's actually worth going for. There we go. Dark bum. We go fang. The answer is eh. Okay, last last room. There we go. And what do you know? Like I said, they bless a run. They don't even need to be that amazing. Amazing of drops. But just finding them, I don't know, makes me feel better about a run. Which is odd, because I don't actually remember placing nearly as much, like, faith in luckups. Oh, that was easy. Or not luckups, but... Caffeine pill is amazing. Man, fake PhD is garbage. And, considering everything, succubus and the mark. Now, obviously, this puts me in a very dangerous place HP-wise, but I got nine lives. And this time, I know how many lives I have, unless this dooms me. Boy, I'm zippy. Really gotta use Incubus some more. Is it Incubus or is this Succubus? This might be Succubus. Whoops. Shoot. There we go. Spooky. I don't remember if it's the room that I'm in or... Chariot or Tower? Chariot, obviously. I mean, if I could do both in sequence, I think that would be the real trick. But I don't think I'm pulling that one off. Now, I could hurt myself here. If I take some damage, we'll go for it. Or if we get another, just a spare black art. Okay. Nothing from here. Because, yeah, we might as well go into the, the boss rush. Or the boss rush. Boss trap room. Sorry, boss rush is a completely different location. Well, I did, I did end up taking damage, like I was hoping. I have no idea what hit me. Sometimes this game is a little chaotic. I'll take it. I honestly cannot tell sometimes what these bosses' attacks are and which ones are mine. Not the greatest payout. I guess growth hormones is pretty good. And a black heart to replace the one that I effectively lost to get in here. Okay, what else are we looking at? Nothing, nothing. Nothing fancy. Okay, arcade as a blood bank. Okay, that does not last nearly as long as I'd like. But that's okay. Dark bum, give me the moon. Okay, so I'm just going to dump a small amount of money into this. I don't really want to do what I did last round where I... Well, I didn't even spend that much time on it. I'm just hoping I can get some hearts, but this is... Mostly paying out in other things. Holy shit, that is... Pretty terrible. What about you? Could 
Because, yeah, a little bit would be good. I, I'm i hoping to get at least one, one more black and or spirit heart. Oh. I guess we got it somehow. Instead, we get Skatole. I'll take a Skatole. Alright, then I'm going to take a bet on this room. Bet was good. Okay, so we do not we do not want to take this. Oh. Well, that's a thing. I honestly was not expecting the secret room to be right there. I mostly just warped out so I wouldn't have to take damage. I'm trying to stinge here. Admittedly, I was, oh boy. I was hoping for something uh, a bit more of a hefty payout from one of these secret rooms. But you know who's paying out? Uh, that boy. Nope. Oh, hold up. Uh, the boy who pays in red hearts. Oh, let's do child leash. We've got two spots, and this way. I don't remember. I thought child leash was supposed to make all my um all my buddies stick close to me. Guess not. All right. That nah, did take some damage. It's fine. Okay, so here's a question, because this is different. Upon doing so, a secret door opens that only opens upon... Okay. It's probably the Angel Room. Do I donk it if I go into the deal with the devil? I might. I don't know what this is. The shade it follows. Yeah. We screwed ourselves over. I'm going to have to do this all over again. I got greedy. I was hoping that door would stay open. That's okay. I'm I'm in no immediate need. Lazy worm. I think lazy worm is actually, like, really bad for me. I wish the door was better marked, I guess. Because that just looks like a deal with the angel, and I was like, well, I don't know. I am not immediately interested in a deal with the angel, even though I probably should have been. Ah, it sucks. It's okay, but it sucks. Oh! I was not expecting multiple horrible pot friends. Unfortunately, worse pills is bad for me. You're real bad. Oi. This is a room. We get a range down. Just do not care. Uh, oh. High Priestess is different from... Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure High Priestess is the one that just summons a mom's foot to just wreck shit for me. Oh, boy. I forgot about those guys. Luckily. I was gonna say, luckily I outranged these stupid ghosts. But I don't. Oh, that's a psychic. Gosh, how many hands are there? More than I care to deal with.
Okay. Then I guess I'll grab a Mr. Boom. Not that I'm immensely passionate about Mr. Boom. Yeah, I guess we're just going to kill Blue Baby. Ah, greed got to me. And honestly, I should probably go for the deal with the angels over deal with the devil whenever I get the chance. In fact, I should probably actually do a couple of runs where we go that direction just for the sake of variety. I am... I'm a committed aspirant to, to deals with the devil in this game just because I find they t tend to be a little bit more interesting. But who knows? I heard Holy Water got a big, big buff, so... Maybe it's not actually that big of a deal. Boy. I just... Don't like Isaac today. Do we... Do we go into the weird mess portal? Yeah, sure, why not? It's not gonna salvage the run, but it's better than going into the chest. Oop. That could have gone bad. Got another luck penny. It's a good feels. Obviously, this floor has kind of a downside here of... Might have to fight Satan. But you know what? It's okay. And then we get to fight Delirium again. I barely remember fighting Delirium. I think it was on one of my, like, most egregiously OP runs I've ever had. So I put that very solidly in, like... Uh, probably over really fast. Oh, wait, no, no, no. He had, he had, uh, hyper armor or whatever. Or no, not hyper armor. He had whatever the, uh, oh, actually. Just in the off chance, it gives me a magic mush. Not a high chance, but, like, it's worth looking for it. Uh, let's see. Just in case. Could pop the battery on that, but that, gosh, that seems wasteful. Okay, we got another? New. But we get goodies all the same. E and a black heart. Did I take damage? I don't think I took damage from that. Oh, it must have hit... Maybe it was something to do with the shadow. Maybe not. Well, this is paying out phenomenally well. Note to self, put out more fires. I've been really lazy about it. Just because. But that apparently has been nothing but a mistake. Have I not died yet? I haven't. I'm impressed. Sort of. I mean, it's normal mode. I I should give myself some some credit. Even after a number of years, I might not be able to put out... Or, eh, no, I can, I can absolutely hit these boops. What you got for me? Nothing. He's got not... Ooh. But that, on the other hand... Yeah, I might as well just bomb a lot of these. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello? No. Like, it honestly feels like it wants me to blow up all of these mushrooms. Flat file, no more spikes. I get... yeah, sure. Hello, Loki. Uh, let's see, got anything fancy in here? Nope. There we go. Anything else? New. No. I am getting tired. That's probably holding me back a bit. Right, let's leave this room alone for a hot second. I want to confirm the existence of a second boss door before I go into that one, just in case it locks me. 
I think there's two levels to the void. Which is probably why we haven't seen any other boss doors. Or they're just extremely remote for some reason. But I'm also very much not against just farming this floor for... Admittedly, resources we're not going to use. I... <laughs> It's one problem I have with uh, some roguelikes is that it feeds really bad into my uh, light hoarder tendencies when I play these games. I tend to be very methodical. I don't know what those do. They're spooky looking though. Ow. What's that? Panic button. Push in case of emergency. I was hoping it was kind of like a light tech or something like that. Ah, shit. Hi. Well, worked out. Okay, we get a strength, we get a high priestess. We get a retrovision. Let's just roll strength. I guess actually, pop the temperance, bomb the temperance. Oh, I was kind of hoping I get some HP from that. Yep. It worked. There we go. Wow. I don't know if it's me or the knife, but oof. Okay. It, second second boss's existence confirmed. Let's just fight it. Oh, the blue baby. I guess I might as well pop strength for the extra oof. We get blank card. I'd rather have blank card. And if we can find a Yera, that's an option. Okay, we get a High Priestess, which is not actually what I was looking for. But we get a Stars. What does that do on this map? I guess it's just a random warp. I'll take a random warp. At least that means I can pop myself into what the hell hit hit me. I don't know. Okay, so Mega Satan is a bit spooker. I don't know. Maybe we're okay. I think we're okay. We get some dog food. I'll take dog food. I don't really have much of a choice anyway. But now that we've got Mega Satan down, that makes my life a lot easier. He's kind of the scary one because, ah, shit. He's the one I'm not used to fighting. Like, Blue Baby? I know the patterns. Mega Satan? Guess. Okay. Well, it's just... It's just showering me in goodies today. I will gladly accept that. Bye. I guess I just have to stand right on top of it. There we go. Okay, what are you? Another boss. Blood puke. Ghosts. for. We slowed him down. Yep, we did. Luckily, he ain't much. This guy's Papa Fly. I forgot about Papa Fly. Okay. I don't actually see myself winning this one. We've burnt a lot of resources here just clearing the floor. I think I'm pretty much good until we hit Delirium. 
and then I'd become considerably less good. I don't remember what this one does. Oh, Stud Finder. Stud Finder is for secrets. I think. I don't honestly remember. Ooh. Also, how many boss doors are there? Not that I'm complaining too much. I guess let's just hit both of them. All right, it's, it's conquest, right? I think it's conquest. Oh, that was quick. Dad's coin. I remember this. And... Delirium. Oh, we found him. Yeah, those laser eyes are honestly the spookiest part of this fight. I guess the other particularly spooky part about this fight is it's absolute bullet hell. He's got a shit ton of a HP that my massive amounts of damage can't cope with. And my extra lives are going to kick me out. I feel like for a fight against Delirium, you should almost be able to um, uh, use all of your lives without getting kicked out of the room. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. <sighs> uh, let's go over here for a hot second. We get a two of hearts. Two of hearts. And we get another stars. What does this do? I guess it just warps me to a room I haven't been to yet. I'll take it. Not like I have much of a choice. Because, yeah, we're going to have to farm as much as we can. Uh, let's see. I'm going to leave that and not blow it up. Damn it. Okay. I don't actually think there's anything in here. Yeah, one healthing delirium. That's, um... That's a tall order. Like, I, I've pulled off some pretty sick wins on this game, but I don't think I've ever pulled off anything that sick. You'll be over here until that clears. Oh, well, this gives me a smidge. Small battery. We haven't found the secret room yet. But this level is so gosh darn huge. There's only a couple places I'm even willing to check before I just peace. I can never get the measurements right on the big rooms. There we go. Ace of Spades. Ace of Spades. Oh, that just converts everything in the room. I don't think that actually is going to do anything for me. Okay, so at this point, my only real so solution for survival is to gamble and hope for the best. If there's a mod that turn turns off the uh, boss armor, I might honestly put that on. I've never liked it. It always felt weird to me. It's like, oh man, you've got a really powerful run. Yeah, we're going to take that away from you, so this is a totally regular run by this game's standards. Lovers. Ooh. That's, that's actually really good. Now if I can get some batteries. Wish I'd gotten that sooner. We wouldn't be able to farm a ton. Anyway, I'm going to go until this blows up, blows up.
Because I, I hate gambling, but I... I'd rather do this than lose. Okay, it's just a lockdown. Man, and we had a 48-hour energy in the pool. Okay. Not my favorite. Let's see. Do we have any batteries remaining? I think I see one. On Dark Bomb, work with me here. Perfect. Okay. We've got this over here. Had a bit of something. Come on, Dark Bomb. You slow creature. Thank you. Okay, pretty sure this is just... Oh, that's a High Priestess. That gives me a Chariot. I'll take the Chariot. I see... If I see damage coming my way that I can't avoid, we'll pop it. That said, I don't know. This is the best I got. It's better than I had. So it might not be so bad. Absolutely despise hyper armor. What the? Oh, God damn it. Yeah, I don't remember any of his patterns. We were super dead. Yeah, because he's going to land and just kind of spawn one of these on me. At least I slightly know what I'm paying attention for. Okay. I'm outranging him, which so far is working for me. But that ain't gonna last. Yep. Because he's gonna land on me. I... Uh... Yeah, I got nothing. This guy's an absolute stinker. I knew he was going to be. At least I can kind of practice his patterns. I... Where was he? Where was I in that? Okay, at least he doesn't seem to have the laser eyes anymore. Seems like they kind of just pieced out. This is not going to go great. I honestly even just getting to delirium is enough for me. Missed that one. It does not help that I'm recording this at like 1 a.m. All right. Inwards, let's just give him the hug of death. My death. Huh. Didn't know there was a mom's foot. Yeah, I just can't do this. Not with, not with one HP. And that's fine. That was a good run all the same. I realize it was yet another loss, but honestly, anytime I deviate from going off to go stomp Blue Baby in the face, pretty much is a guaranteed, uh, whoops-a-doo, not gonna do well on this run kind of run. And that's, I guess, okay. So with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.